Hi everyone. Today I am going to show you how to do classification on skin cancer using deep learning technique. Generally skin cancer images are classified as two classes that is benign and melanoma. So I'll write a, I'll write a program for classification on skin cancer. For that initially we have to generate one folder folder as skin skin then generate one more folder as database so inside the database you can have two folders that is benign and malignant so in the benign folder you can take some benign data for training and in the malignant folder you can take some malignant uh, skin image data for training data here i have taken only four data for uh, five data for benign folder and four data for malignant folder now I am opening the MATLAB so I'll explain the program how I return this program just to, first we have to set the data set path where the data is then it's reading all those data then all the images taken as a image data store then I'm splitting those images uh, randomly splitting those images for training then just I am displaying those training images then I am going to construct the network layer so here I constructed some custom network layer which is not present earlier that means it's not pre-trained predefined it's not a transfer learning myself I created some network so for that what I have done means just I create uh, first stream of layer in the name of convolution relu pooling again second stream data for second feature extraction then I used to one dropout then again third stream of convolution then again I take an drop dropout finally I have taken two fully connected layer then done the classification based on softmax classifier now the uh, network construction are over now I am going to train the data so far I have given the training options maximum focus 40 and the initial learning rate is 0 0.001 now I am going to train the data train network is train data comma layers 1 comma options train, da train data this is the data which we taken for training layer is the our custom neural deep neural network architecture option is the training options then i have taken some sample validation data then i used a for loop and reading all those images then classifying the images one by one then i am just displaying images then if you want give any custom images outside from the database means just we are reading those images and displaying those images then we are classifying finally in a message box we can get a result so now I am going to run the program just click the green color button you can see the busy operation here in the left side of the MATLAB now the training images are displaying and the structure also displaying in the command window Now the uh, training is going on, training is started, so you can see the training iterations and maximum epochs here. I have given the epoch as 40, so it's going on. So this training accuracy is improving and the loss is decreasing. So finally I am getting 100% training data. So this information you can see it in command window also. So minimum mini patch accuracy is 100. So training almost completed. We are getting good accuracy. Now it's asking enter to images to check our input data. So just I am giving test to one dot apg to enter. So this is the benign data. We can see benign is nothing but it's not it's a tumor, it won't spread to other places. So this is the benign data. 
then again one one more image I'm I'm going to check just run the program once again then you, you can see the training images same train training images only then the training is going on so training accuracy always should be higher then only you can get better result for your test data now the training is completed the end of the image here you can second test image so this is the malignant data or melanoma that means spreading all over the image so this is the difference between benign and malignant benign it's it's not spreading all over the image malignant or melanoma means it's spreading to all over the image actually so this is the classification of skin cancer using deep neural network so i have taken little data only you can take more data and you can train with is graphical processing unit here I used a CPU only so likewise you can give another image which is which is not included in the data cells the data sets also so you can try it yourself if you any doubt you can contact me for more help for uh, generating new um, network structure or new things enhancement in the world one transfer learning uh, recurrent neural network or deep neural network or convolution neural network convolution recurrent neural network combination of convolution and recurrent if anything if you want to means you can ask me and you can contact me if any doubt means you just uh, message me or whatsapp me i can help you okay thank you thanks for watching